Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit contour maps. Contour maps are two-dimensional representations of three-dimensional data. Contours define lines of equal Z values across the map extents. The shape of the surface is shown by the contour lines. A contour map can be created from any grid file. A grid file can be created directly in Surfer from XYZ data, can be created in a third-party software program, or can be downloaded from the internet. In this demonstration, we will use one of the sample grids that comes with Surfer. To create a contour map from a grid file, click Home, New Map, Contour. Select the grid file, and click Open. The contour map is created with the default properties. To edit the properties of the map layer, select the Contours layer in the Contents window. All of the properties for the Contours layer are displayed in the Properties window. Changing any of the properties in the Properties window will automatically update the map. The General page contains many generic options. In the General section, next to the file name in the Grid File field, you can click the Open Grid button to change or reload the grid file used to create the contours. You can click the Save Grid button to save the grid out to a new grid file, and you can click the Grid Info button to generate a grid information report for the grid file. You can smooth jagged contours by clicking the drop-down list in the Smoothing field and selecting from the list of smoothing options. You can set the fault line properties if the grid used to create the contour map has a fault in it. In the No Data Regions section, you can set the fill properties and the line properties of any regions in the map with a no data value. The Levels page contains the display properties for the contours themselves. In the General section, the first field is the Level Method. Depending on your selection here, the rest of the fields on this page will change. There are three Level Method options. Simple, which shows the most options for linear contours in the Properties window. Logarithmic, which shows options in a similar way to Simple, but with options customized for logarithmic contours. Equal Area separates the map into approximately equal area bins and creates contour lines at the bin boundaries. And Advanced, which moves commands to a dialog, but offers further control over some of the finer details of the map, such as adding hashers or customizing contour labels. We'll go ahead and leave the level method set to Simple. The next three fields in the General section define how many contour lines will be drawn and what values they will represent. The minimum and maximum Z values from the grid file, displayed in the Data Range section at the very top of this page, help you determine a good range for your contour values. You can set the minimum contour, maximum contour, and contour interval to whatever you'd like by typing new values into the field and you can change these back to the default values by clicking the Reset Levels button. Surfer allows you to differentiate between major and minor contour lines with the Major Contour Every field. If you don't want major and minor contour lines, you can set this to 1. Otherwise, you can set this to any value. To specify that every fourth contour is a major contour, we will set this value to 4. In the Filled Contours section, you can check the box next to Fill Contours to fill the spaces between the contours with color. The color that the spaces are filled with is determined by the color map specified in the Fill Colors field. You can click on the existing color map to specify one from the list of presets, or you can click the Custom Color Map button to open the Color Map Editor where you can define a custom color map. Check the box next to Color Scale to add a color scale to the right side of your map. You can click and drag the color scale to move it, and you can edit its properties in the Properties window. The next two sections allow us to set the line properties for the major and minor contours, and define whether or not labels display on them. The Labels section contains font and format properties for all of the labels, 
as well as a checkbox for defining label orientation. Changes made here apply to both major and minor contour labels. As we've seen, properties that change the label size, like bolding and adding a suffix, change the number of labels displayed on the map and the label locations. This is due to the tolerance settings for the labels. If your contour map isn't displaying enough labels, you can either adjust the curve tolerance, decrease the label to label distance, or decrease the label to edge distance. Another option is to move the labels to a smoother portion of the contour line. To move the contour line labels, click Map Tools, Edit Layer, Contour Labels. Each label is outlined with a blue box. Click and drag a label to move it along the contour line. Press Ctrl on your keyboard and click a contour line to add a label to it. and press delete on your keyboard to delete the selected label. Press escape on your keyboard when you're done to exit the label editing mode. The layer page is where you control the opacity of the entire contour map layer. We can adjust the opacity percentage by using the slider bar or by clicking on the number itself and typing a new value. The coordinate system page presents the coordinate system of the grid file used to create the contour map. If there is not a coordinate system assigned to the grid, the name will say Unreferenced Local System, as it does here. If this is the case, you can set the coordinate system by clicking the Set button, selecting the appropriate coordinate system, and clicking OK. The Info page displays information about the selected object. For objects in a base map, this information could include length or area measurements or attribute information. But for contour maps, there usually isn't any information to display here. This concludes the video training for creating and editing contour maps in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.